Hello everybody and thanks for joining me on board this 2005 Sea Line S34 for a look around her interior in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean for you? Well hopefully that will mean that you can experience what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. All you need to do is keep watching and swipe or drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around where you like whenever you want. You don't have to look where I'm pointing the camera. How cool is that? I will move the camera around and now some people are sensitive to the movement of the camera. If that might be you, when I let you know I'm going to move the camera, please avert your eyes and then when I've told you the camera is safely back down again, you can return to the tour and come around and explore the rest of this boat with me. Let's hope that doesn't happen though. So how am I feeling? Well, look at her. She's a luxury sports cruiser. She looks in really nice condition. She's uh, got really neutral tones, but really looks great. We've got some upgrades here. This this is an upgraded upholstery, upgraded wood on the floor and the companionway. And uh, the neutral tones and the, you know, we're just feeling light, bright and airy down here. Smells great, looks great. I feel great, so that's the important thing. Very nice indeed. Head height, um, I'm five foot nine, so there's probably about six feet, maybe just over six feet there. Um, not feeling enclosed at all. We've got windows all over the place on this boat. We've got some at high level, they're opening. We've got some at low level there, they open as well. And the, the low level ones I really love because you're looking straight down at the water rather than the boat next door. Very nice indeed. But let's start from the back of the uh, compartment, shall we? So as you can see, we've got a really nice, easy companion way to get down. Down, we've got a handle up here, we've got a handle here, so we can come down in relative style and safety. Very nice and easy to close the companion way if you want to uh, uh, have a bit of privacy or just to close her off. Very nice and easy to open her again, and she just slides back right out of the way. Really easy to get down the stairs. We've got a built in bin compartment there, or maybe tool locker, whichever you would prefer. Um, and then as we turn to the starboard side, you can see what really is a lovely feature on this boat. Very nice lounging area, saloon area. C-shaped, storage underneath, very nice uh, table as well. The table drops down, we have the infill cushions for that to make into a double, so uh, also we have a double bed up forwards and we can make a double in the cockpit as well, so lots of beds on this boat. On the outboard side, as you can see, we've got various cupboards, shelves, etc. for all your bits and pieces, stereo in the corner, big TV on the after bulkhead and the electrical panel on the, on the after bulkhead as well. The headlining looks lovely as well. It's a mixture of, um, a mixture of this uh, vinylette or leatherette and uh, gel coat as well. And we've got two stereo speakers down here also. Looking lovely, you can tell I like this boat. On the port side here, you can see we've got the galley unit, so it's a forward and after unit. We've got cupboards above, we've got a fiddle shelf above, window to let the cooking fumes out, um, cruet drawer there, etc. Nice fridge in here, and we've got a one and a half sink unit underneath here. And uh, if we just lift this lid here, we've got access to the uh, to the burners on the cooker, and we've got an actual cooker underneath there too. So all really, really useful. Very easy to hand stuff up to the cockpit if you're making food for them there. Very easy to prepare and place food in the saloon as well. And uh, generally speaking, very easy to take demands from the helm for his or her cups of tea or uh, or cup of soups, etc. But uh, very nice area and feeling nice and light and bright and airy and. Uh, yeah, very special indeed. Right then, let's pick you up for the first time and I'll take you forwards first. So I'm going to place you in the forward cabin. There we go. Uh, let's make it so you don't fall over. There we go. So you're in the forward cabin. Nice and easy to get in. Still good headroom as we come in here. Though it does go down towards the bow of the boat as the coach roof dips down, but you would only be going that way to sleep anyway. I think most people would be able to sit up and, uh, and read in bed if needed. We got his and hers or hers and hers and or his and his cupboards here um, which uh, are somewhere to stow our gear for the weekend. Down each side you've got a nice long shelf as well and uh, on this side you've got a nice uh, vanity unit there and uh, each side you've got a, a step or two to get up and climb into bed. Very nice, we've got this island bed at an angle so uh, that means it slips into a smaller space but still gives us that nice big bed feel and it does seem like a nice long and nice wide uh, nice wide bed and of course while you're sitting there you'll be looking through the windows down at the water on that side pontoon on that side but gives us that feeling of being at sea which we are here we've got um, a hanging locker so uh, plenty of room in there for your longer items of clothing 
and uh, on this side we've got the Jack and Jill door to the head which I'll show you in a moment so um, if you wanted to go to the toilet and there's lots of people out here you can go in there without disturbing them or without them seeing you go into the loo so that's what that's all about very nice indeed lovely compartment feels special so let's lift you up and I'll take you out of the cabin close the door on that bye bye cabin and place you in the heads compartment there we go so uh, again good head height loads of head height here actually this is the door through to the forward cabin and this is the door through to the saloon so as you can imagine we can go into the toilet from this compartment without disturbing anyone in the forward cabin that's what Jack and Jill is all about everybody we've got mirrored cupboards on the back we've got some work surface we've got a sink with a shower attachment here that shower attachment uh, goes up here and you've got a curtain here or the curtain here has been taken away but you have the rail so you can have a nice shower in here without it getting everywhere and uh, if you want to have a sit down while you're having a shower you can do because this toilet's got a, a lid on it and it flushes electrically and it flushes with fresh water so it keeps it nice and clean and fresh etc etc nice heated towel rail here too kind of seals the deal for me this is a really nice compartment nice radius edges so we can keep it nice and clean really really nice and easily always great for a heads compartment right then let's pull you away from there and take you through to the aft cabin, which I really love on this boat. It's one of the best I've seen. So if I just place you, um, I'll put you in the middle of the compartment there, so hopefully you can see. Now, obviously it's an after cabin. This is the cockpit above us. This is the seating on the port side of the cockpit above my head here. So this is going to be lower, but we're only going to be going in here to crawl through and crash or sleep, aren't we? So I think there's still room in here for most people to sit and read, but, um, all the neutral tones and the colours of the cushions, not not withstanding the the, the actual look, the the, uh, the bedding as well, uh, makes it a nice place to be. We have windows either side, so light and air coming through if we want it. We've got the continuation of the nice upholstery upstairs, or sorry, through there, which I believe is all an upgrade in here. And if you want to make a nice double in here, guess what? We can. So we can have a nice double bed in here, which will be plenty wide and really nice and long. Lovely seat in the corner here. The cushions there belong to uh, on the on the saloon table. If we want to make that into a double out there, if they so uh, really you've got a really nice place to sit and read or get ready. Uh, and uh, if you want to stand up and get changed, you'd just be doing it in the lobby here, just behind me. The hatch I mentioned uh, in a different video. There is a hatch here. So if we needed to get out of here because we couldn't get out of the door, hopefully we can. But otherwise we can open that up too for light and ventilation should we want to. And then finally just behind me we've got a hanging locker here as you can see the current owners have put their microwave and toaster there very good thinking. We've got a sort of a vanity unit here for all your bits and pieces and we've got a drawer here cupboards underneath as well so lots and lots and lots of room on this boat for all your gear. Very nice huh? Okay let's pick you up and take you out of the compartment and we'll put you back in the saloon where we'll finish up by saying that this has been Tim from Boatshed Rock Brokers just taking you for a quick tour around this 2005 Sea Lion S34. Hope you've appreciated what a lovely boat she is, looks great, feels great, lots of facilities, bit luxury feeling and uh, I think you can tell I've uh, enjoyed taking you around this boat. Thanks for watching, always lovely to see you along and uh, do take a look at the many 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 other reviews on our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got everything from tiny little fishing boats to lovely whacking great big sports and uh, uh, luxury boats but uh, yeah thanks for watching this video hope to see you again soon take care